you've told me I've made a profit, but I've got no money. Now, we hear this time and time again, and there is a difference between profitability and cash flow. Your profit and loss shows you what money came into your business and went out from a, a business point of view and gave you a net profit, but it doesn't tell you where the money went. Your balance sheet shows you where the money went. So for instance, a couple of years ago, I had a guy come in, um, we did his tax and he had a profit of $160,000 and he looked me in the eye and he went, there's 20 bucks in my bank, Victoria, where did it go? And I said to him, you know what, I can tell you exactly where it went. And I ran my little finger down the balance sheet. Well, first of all, you paid 60,000 for a new truck, cash. Then you paid 40,000 off the loan to your brother for that he gave you for starting your business. And then you took the other 60,000 out to live on. There's your $160,000. And as evil as it sounds, just because you've made a profit doesn't mean there's cash in the bank. When we're looking at financial statements, it's really important that we keep an eye on our age receivables, our age payables, and our drawings account. Now, our drawings account will have many different names depending if you're a partnership, a trust, an individual, or a company. It may be owner's drawings, it may be loan to Bill Smith, or it may be a director's loan or a beneficiary's loan. But what you need to do as the year goes on is you need to watch how much that loan has gone up or down based on the previous year because that tells you how much you're taking out of a business. Now, if all you're taking out of a business is wages and it's going through payroll each week, hurrah, you are the golden client. But you know what? They are few and far between. The reality is most people will take a wage and then sometimes, you know, support their income or their lifestyle from their company or their trust as well. So we need to take that into account. We also need to remember there's going to be loan payments. And those accounts payables, accounts receivables, or creditors or debtors, whatever you want to call them, it's important to see where they stand compared to last year. Because if your sales have gone up by 200,000 and your accounts receivable has gone up by 200,000, so one's gone up, one's gone up, guess what? It's exactly the same. You've got no more cash in the bank because what you've invoiced over here is still owing to you over here. So you need to keep an eye on your accounts receivable or your debtors and you also need to keep an eye on your accounts payable. Make sure that you're not paying your creditors until they're due. It's your money. You can make it work for you in the meantime. You don't need to give it to them before it's due. And the same as the ATO. Making sure that you're paying your PAYG, your GST, and your super on time. Making sure you're paying your tax payments on time. But I don't know about you, I wouldn't want to pay the tax office before they're ready for it. Let the money sit in your bank account. Let it work for, for you. Let you invest it and make the best money that's there. So yes, there is definitely a difference between cash and profitability.